you can get VPS with Plesk license included for one euro per month. Today I will show you two very cheap offers from two different providers, IONOS and Strato. IONOS has Plesk web host license included, which means unlimited domains. That alone costs way more than VPS, but you get from IONOS. Their cheapest server is one euro per month, and for that money, you get one vCore, one gigabyte of RAM, and 10 gigabyte of SSD. I personally think that 10 gigabytes is just not enough, especially if you want to install control panel such as Plesk. So I decided to buy more expensive VPS from them. It costs 2 euros per month for first 6 months and then 4 euros per month. Now we get 2 vCores, 2 gigabytes of RAM and 80 gigabytes SSD. These specs for this price are already great, but if we also consider Plesk license that is included, amazing deal. You can also choose from different data centers, so this will be a great choice for people all around the world. Now let's talk about Strato. They don't have multiple data centers, only Germany, and instead of Plesk Web Host, you get Plesk Web Admin, which has a limit of up to 10 domains, and misses out on some advanced features, but for 1 euro per month, you get very useful specs. 1 vCore, 1 GB of RAM and 30 GB of SSD, not 10 GB like 1 euro offer from IONOS. I decided to get this cheapest offer from Strato. So in this video, we will take a look at both Strato cheapest offer and IONOS second cheapest offer and compare them to Hetzner VPS. But before we go right into it, I need to tell you a couple of things if you want to buy something from IONOS or Strato. These are not typical prepaid offers where you can just not pay for the next month and forget that you had VPS. They use contracts and it works very similar to cellular providers. You sign contract and you need to pay per month for one year. Because of that, they know that they will receive money from you for a long time and that's how they can maximize usage and money from each physical server and in return give you way better offer than prepaid provider. Second thing is that as far as I know, IONOS isn't region limited, but Strato is. You can order from Strato only if you are from Europe. These are potential problems and apart from that, these offers are great. I just told you about these problems first because I don't want to waste your time. Now let's see VPS control panels. IONOS control panel is not that nice. It is very slow and complicated to use, but it has all things that you need. Here you can generate and get Plesk license key, so that means that you can install whatever distribution you want, install Plesk on a clean operating system and then apply this license key. You don't need to use some kind of pre-installed template and whole Plesk activation process is very transparent and not sketchy. I ordered from UK data center and I don't have IPv6, just IPv4. But I know that Germany location has IPv6 in addition to IPv4. Jumping to Strato. Here we don't see English version of panel, but we can use built-in Google Translate and it works quite well. This control panel looks very dated, but it is fast. You get Plesk activated in the same way as in IONOS, so you just click one button and then you get your Plesk license key. So now we can go right into benchmarks. We will compare both servers to Hessner cheapest ARM server that costs almost 4 euros and doesn't include any license in price. By doing this comparison, we will see if we really lose much compared to standard offers from other providers. First, Geekbench 6. Single core performance is very similar across the board. And this is a great news, especially for Strato, which costs just 1 euro per month. In multi-core performance, Strato loses performance because 1 GB of RAM is just not enough to run multi-core benchmarks from Geekbench 6, and it ends up eating a lot of swap. 
because there is not a lot of RAM. Also, Strato VPS is just single core, whereas both Ionos and Hetzner, at least this offer that I got, have two cores. In terms of IO, we can see that Strato and Ionos are artificially limited, and that's nowhere near NVMe speeds. But I wouldn't say that these results are bad. For web hosting, these are way above what you need. Network performance is interesting one, because both IONOS and Strato say that they include one gigabit connection, and we can clearly see that we get way more than that. Both Strato and IONOS say that these connections are unmetered, but I wouldn't advise you to go above one or two terabytes per month, because they are already losing money on you because of Plesk license. Nginx performance is great, thousands of requests per second. For this price, amazing results for all of them. If you have 1000 requests per second on average, it means that you have 60,000 in a minute. That's a lot of concurrent visitors on your site and you pay just a couple of euros per month. ZSTD decompression and compression speed. ZSTD is used by many backup solutions, so better speeds means faster backups and faster restoring from backup. Hetzner disappoints in a decompression speed, but it's compression speed where all of this struggle. If you have big site, for example, 10 gigabytes, this is where you will notice limitations of VPSs with just one or two cores. Redis benchmark. I must admit, all of them exceeded my expectations. I really thought that Strato with just one core wouldn't break 1 million requests per second, but it did. Really impressive result, and that combined with fast Nginx performance means that even heavy sites that are well cached will work nicely on these VPSs. SVT AV1. I have this benchmark just for fun, because I knew that you need way more performance to get solid results here. But this is one area where especially ARM CPU from Hetzner really struggles. You can learn more about such ARM problems in my Hetzner ARM vs x86 benchmark video. Compilation benchmark. We can see that second core in both Hetzner and IONOS VPS helps here a lot, and if you want to compile anything on your VPS, I strongly recommend to get at least two, or even better, four cores. WebP encode benchmark is useful to all people that don't want to use external image optimization services, but rather optimize on their own server. Image encoding uses single core, so second core won't help, and we can see that encoder is optimized for x86. Last benchmark, PHP bench, also single threaded benchmark. Here Strato is the fastest and Hetzner is the slowest. So in conclusion, should you get these cheap VPSs from IONOS or from Strato? Yes, values is amazing, especially on Strato, but we also have Plesk license included. What we can complain about? We can complain about contracts, but that's the only way how they can manage to give you such pricing. They want long-term customers, because if these long-term customers scale up, they will get bigger servers, and with bigger servers, provider will have stable income with nice healthy margins. If you decide to order from Strato or IONOS, then share your experience in comments, so we can all be smarter and decide what works the best for each of us. That's all for today, have a nice day.